Okay, there you go. Yeah, I mean, everybody was going, well, you don't use the YouTube software, whatever that is, to live stream. You got to get a third party. And then I kind of gave up and just go to hell with it. Uh, and I'll come back to it later. But then, uh, yeah, like I said, Steve was crawling up my skirt, you know, asking if I would do that. And I said, let me check it out. So I'm sitting in here and I've got a ton ass of reviews I got to do. And I'm thinking, crap, let me play around with this live stream for a little bit. Chad, you in Kansas in a loader? God dang, is it warm up there? I mean, my, my son lives in the uh, Tulsa, uh, Oklahoma metro area, but <sighs> yeah, I guess you can live stream on this under a thousand subs. And I do, last I checked, have more than a thousand subs. Although after this live stream, it may go down severely. <laughs> oh God, please. Oh, I'm going to move you over, Linus. We got people over here. Yeah, I can read this. I can on this, uh, on the sidebar here for my live stream. And who do we got? Mark Grant and Gummy McFat Stacks and Spirited Whiskey and EDC Live uh, and Chad Blade Banner. There you go. 180 isn't bad for the nurse. Dude, it's not that much. I think it's... I got that and I printed that out. Hold on. Let me grab that off my printer. Uh, da, 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 da. 120 is the launch price and 140 in the store. So, no. Uh, no, you're right. And, and that's the one thing I was thinking about this knife, though, is, yeah, uh, it's kind of really in that line of the Ferrum Forge stuff, right? Would you agree with that, Linus? Kind of? Yeah, I mean, that's it's more in line with with the Falcon and the Crux and things like that. So it's not super high end. It's definitely not like uh, like my Eric Oaks Orca in, you know, in carbon fiber with the Moku tie surrounds and all. That was three and a quarter. So I do understand this at 120. No, I think at 120, this is fine, don't you? I think it's yeah. great. I mean, you know, uh, first of all, you get uh, Gavco... Uh, design and you get uh, I think we knives is made yeah we knives uh, make made makes this so that's fine give me some of that Kansas internet I could use it over in here in Georgia <laughs> okay yeah it is made by we knives so yeah it's not very heavy either and I'm gonna not really do anything serious online right now. I just wanted to see how, how do I get on. Uh, 3.6 ounces, not very heavy. 104 grams, not bad. But it's a 3 and a 7. You know, it's 3 inches uh, on the blade, 7 overall. See, you can see that. Mm, 7 overall, yeah. So, it's neither here nor there as far as it's not a big knife so it ought to be carryable for people in sweden uh 3.92 millimeters is that right that's yeah, close close and right through the hole it's nothing yeah crap and you know what that's eh, not terribly yeah 0.5 on something like that so no uh yeah it's a squeeze for four fingers. It is a squeeze for four fingers and got a choil up front, so it's not bad. Will it cut anything? There's Linus leaning on his elbow like, like you're watching a YouTube video or something. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's sharp. Can I keep it? I wish, right? Nah. Kind of ugly. I'd rather have a nice pair of. <laughs> J 
just a bit small yeah yeah i know it would be kind of, first of all it'd be nice if it had a backspacer and maybe yeah it could be the same color though i guess yeah and make it like this i mean at least the pocket clip looks pretty nice and that's like a milled machined so lockup's pretty respectable and the action's nice uh, you know wow i'm waiting for some of them new wee knives to come out little buster that cynix thing you know i've really got my heart set on that and then maybe that little g10 minix or no the minix is the ferrum forge thing the little g10 one is uh called something else and it's uh but it's g10 and so yeah that's a scale down uh malice i guess but uh yeah a bit more blade and handle yeah somewhere besides china uh, well, uh, in light of the current uh, coronavirus, yeah, boy, that's really slowing things down. I know that uh, for sure. I got stuff. I had stuff coming from Tucson, and it was uh, definitely slower than what it has been traditionally. Uh, but, oh, the 191 just came out? Mm, I'll have to check that out. Uh, there's a really... I haven't seen a whole lot of brand new Tucson models coming out recently. You know why? I think it's because they ain't doing much right now. It's getting serious, this deal. And I think it's really putting a chokehold on what we're getting from China. But uh, yeah, so no, I haven't seen a lot of new stuff, which given me the opportunity to try and catch up on some of the Tucson uh, stuff. But nah, uh, there's just so much other good stuff that's coming out. So I want to get my hands on a lot of the new Wii stuff, the Civivi stuff I've got. I'm going to do a review on the Hooligan here one of these days. That's kind of cool with the micarta scales and stuff. I think I've got a picture of it somewhere, but I ain't got the damn knife. And uh, what the hell? And then I've got Seek why crkt why do i have so many crkt knives to review uh because i've lost my mind but this one is this austin mcglon was the designer of this one clever girl folding and you know what he's a disabled vet and he did he he went through some shit in afghanistan really really bad stuff he was telling me about his experiences and you know it it's tough it's tough. You come back statewide and he's kind of looking for purpose, you know, to reconnect and try and figure out what's going on with his life. And he got involved with this Forged by War program. Of course, this has got that deadbolt lock. And love this knife or not love this knife, you got to love the cause and you got to... And, and this is a big ass knife too. I mean, it is a big ass knife and it's cool in that way. Anybody likes the Persian sweep, you're going to like that. Um, but, yeah, I haven't done the review on this yet. And I did get that. If you saw the end of my 2020 um, SHOT Show video on CRKT, the last few minutes were Austin on camera talking about the program and everything. And at least this one thing that CRKT does is to actually give money, part of their profits, to disabled vets. And I think that's a great, great cause. So, you know what? I really do. I like this knife. And, of course, it's big. Tactile? Whew, baby. Uh, yes. And, and it's D2, actually. So, maybe I should send this to Kurt and have him stab it and see. The problem is when you get these coated blades... It affects the HRC reading, and he had. If I took this apart and then scraped the coating off around the pivot area, then he could get a true reading. Otherwise, they tend to read a little softer than they really are because of that coating. Be it 
you know, Saracot or Saracote or um, the Teflon. So, all right, now I've got that Half Breed Blades knife uh, with him, and he's going to take the scales off and scrape the black off and give it a, um, a Rockwell because the initial Rockwell he did was on the coated blade, and I think it was only like 57. And, you know, it probably for K110 ought to be, hell, I'd like it to be 61 or 2, you know. So, but he says it's probably a couple of points, so it, it might be closer to a 60. We'll see. We'll see. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, this is, this is cool. I'm ignoring everybody's uh, chat. I hope you guys are reading each other's chat. Hell, I'm old. I can't read all this. Oh, you got a small Pilar. Uh, let me see. Love the CRKT crossbones. I like the jump bones. And I don't have a jump bones now, but I, I'm going to go back and get that and put that in. Uh, one of these days, I'm going to do a large knife video, what I like. Um large knife wise and of course i think a lot of them are gonna be uh cold steel you know as far as large knives go but uh the 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 xoc knife and i haven't put that up yet where the hell see nothing's convenient for me to grab damn it around here um i do have the panache from CRKT. This is a Ken Onion design. This is interesting. XHP, you know, titanium, made in Taiwan. I thought at first when I got my hands on this, this was another one that they had Lion Steel make, like the hijinks. But no. Uh, so this is Taiwan made as well as the XOC that Flavio Icoma designed. So, what are you guys talking about? Oh, you like this? Yeah, I mean, deadbolt locks, and that's what the XOC has, and where the hell is that knife? Oh, by the way, speaking of deadbolt, I, I do have the linchpin, which is a Flavio Icoma design, and I still haven't, god dang it, I still haven't loosened up uh, the drop on this because you can go right through here and change your detent. But look at that. Disable, but it won't drop. Look at this one. Disable, drop. So I guess I need to do that. And let me see if I got something I can do this with. Let's go left. I don't know if that's going to help that much. But... Yeah, see, I don't know. Maybe it just takes a little breaking in. But it doesn't affect the centering. That's one good thing about the deadbolt. Yeah. Yeah, that's nice. Uh, I like this one better than that seismic. You're back. You're back, Linus. It takes him a while to figure out what I'm saying. What? You listen to the phone or you listen to my video? Okay, there he is. Um, but yeah, of course, Linus is going to join me next year for SHOT Show 2021. So it'll be uh, Heckle and Jekyll uh, going there. That ought to be quite the thing. And then... How crazy is it going to get at Blade? Uh, because uh, I'm going to meet Sean Hassan at the Tucson booth and maybe help him out a bit. Here's that, a Hogue. I left the pouch in the other room, of course. I'm just jacking around. But the DACA, I got this one from, oh crap, uh, Indiana Knives. And he had like two left. He posted like the day before. Hey, I got some more of these Hogue Deca knives in. And I kind of ignored it. And then the next day I thought, damn, I do want that blue lava. I saw Stasa 23, uh, you know. 
have one and I go, man, and I do like the hug with the X5 and all that, the big one, the small one, the X1 micro flip. So I got this because he only had two left and I got one of them from him. Thank God, because he goes, they're sold out again and I think they're out of stock at Hogue. So, uh, and this, of course, has got that 20 CV blade. Yeah, Alishowitz. And I, I got a picture with him. He actually posted it on his site too, on his Instagram of me and Jim O. Young, who did the synergy for we. Um, all together, so I'm the dumbass looking one. But yeah, that was that was fun. Uh, Alan and his wife, the best of the crew, right? Of all four of us, of course, the wife is the nicest. Uh, but Alan was a really nice guy. Didn't really get to talk to him much at shot. But uh, yes, I like his designs, and he's doing a great job for Hogue. And this one is nice and light. It's small. Uh, I think it's a, I think this is a good consideration. I think full on selling price for these is 140, which they ain't giving them away, but it seems like nobody's giving anything away. But the blue lava, um, 20 CV, I probably ought to have this poked. Don't you think, Linus? Nod if yes. you agree. Yes. Okay. There you go. Wake up. What time is it in Sweden, damn it? Probably Miller time, isn't it? Get you a damn beer, boy. I'm about ready to. What the hell time is it anyhow? Uh, it's 2.37 my time. Hour and a half and it's legal happy hour. So, shit, we'll definitely go down that road. Hey, anybody want a Hogue from CRKT? <laughs> shit, come here. Get out of here. What else have I got poking around? Oh, hey. Speaking of, anybody tell me about this psych glide, this, this psych knife with this glide lock system? Any of you guys ever done these? Oh my God, please help me. I mean, I got it. And of course, being a guy, um, I'll have a beer or eight. Shit. Rookie? 10 or 12? <laughs> Metal Complex, and uh, yes, Grim Reaper, Grim Reaper, um, and I felt like the Grim Reaper was coming to visit me when I tried to open this damn thing up. Look at this, so you got to push this button. At the same time, you're kind of pushing this bolster out. Then you're rotating it all the way around, okay, and then you're popping this back into place. So, boy, just talk about like an automatic, huh? This is fast and easy. And I'm lying like hell. This is not fast and easy. This sucks. This is, is not an easy system. Okay, let me see if I can... Okay, I can do this again. Uh, let me see if I can close it on my fingers just for full effect. And we're done and back and yes i think we're all the way clicked in yeah tell me that's a great system i got it i got it because i'm an idiot i got it because i like the design does that look i mean that definitely that kind of coffin shaped handle and everything does that look some badassery I mean, that psych is more like psycho, right? And I'm sure it's got, what, 8CR13 or 1.411, whatever, steel on it. God help us all. But that's cool looking. It's just, if I could do it somehow else... Been raining in Georgia for 40 days and 40 nights. Hey, Noah, you got your boat built? Um, you better get it done quick. I know the south. And, you know, it was supposed to rain here on Monday. Total wipeout. Then Tuesday was going to be the cold day, cloudy and rainy. 
not, it was like 68 degrees and mostly sunny. We never got anything. Today's supposed to hit like 75 to 80 somewhere. And it's supposed to be really nice going forward. So, okay, what are we doing here? Okay, we're all clicked. Okay, close this up. We've talked about the site. Now I don't have to review it. I don't want to take this apart either for some reason. You see all these screws here? <sighs> Mama. And I'm stupid enough to do it. Just stupid enough to do it. So pull that back. And I'll tell you, anybody like the fish? Come on, man. You know you love it. Oh. Lion Knives. Hey, how you doing? Um, Neves Knives. You having a good day out there? Backspacer, you got to have you a blue fish. One fish, two fish, red fish. What the hell? But, I mean, I, I did. I liked it so well, I got two of the damn blue ones, and I don't know why now. Um, and then I had a green one, but now I've sold that off. So now I've got nothing but blue. Uh, and before, I was buying them in tan so I could uh, dye them. You at work, Linus? You look like you're at work. Okay, yeah, okay. So you got, you're in the security shack. You ain't drinking no beer. Not for a while, huh? But, oh God. Perfect size. The fish. And then, my blue rat one. And this came this way. I got this from Colin McKenzie out of Jamaica. He sent me a bunch of rat knives that he had. I think I got a pink one too, a rat one in pink. But this blue, I don't think you can get this anymore. And I'll tell you what, uh, that's really cool. I like it. Of course, I, you know, and this is Aus 8. This is not D2, but I don't care. Um, really, the last Aus 8 versus D2 rat cut cutting comparison I saw, I think, the Aus 8 won. So that doesn't surprise me. And I don't care. Close enough for government work. But yeah, it's always nice to have a rat one. The rat 2 is really nice because that's so flickable. Uh, and it's small and easy to use. Oh, guess what? Oh, Olight's going to have a big sale coming up here, I think on the 13th. So I just got this in the mail, the M2R Warrior Pro, or the M2R Pro, limited edition. Oh, yeah. So I got to get that open, figure out what the hell get some kind of video put together for Olight so people can uh, get lit up. And I got a bunch of Olights. I love them, man. It's just a great system. I like the magnetic charging things that go down on the back like that. They just keep it pumped and ready to go. And then the bracket you can put on the wall, put the thing on, you just pull the flashlight away from the magnetic bracket. You're good to go. You carry him, don't you, Linus? All the time, right? You freak zone? Oh, you're in Sweden, so you're on delay. Yeah, he's shaking his head now. Shaking his head. And you're special forces, right? <laughs> Just in the guard shack. Okay, in the guard shack. Do they let you carry any kind of weapon in Sweden? Hello, you're security guard, so you got some badass break in there, and you carry... What? Uh, a Nerf tube from the swimming pool? Hit somebody with that? What? What? Come on. Swear to God. probably They probably won't let you have that either, will they? You need to get one of them damn clubs. I got one of them over here. Shit. I don't know if I could get away from this chair. No, no, no. Here's another good old best tech. This is always on my table. And I made the lanyard, so I don't like that. That's when I was making lanyards. I'm giving that up, uh, unfortunately. Oh, here's something else on my desk. 
Wonder where I got this from. You'll see it here in a minute. And react. Yeah. There you go, buddy. Yeah. And of course, from Patty Potato Peeler. Come here, Flanagan. Flanagan's at the far end, too. So, they go, why do you have little plastic uh, dolls or whatever? Now, they're talisman, damn it. Even the Native Americans had talismans, right? Thanks for good luck charm. So, that's what I do. And there's my panache. And I'm not sure how I feel about it. It's 295 bucks all in. So, mm, XHP, titanium... There's some areas, I think, where mm, I would have made different decisions on how I would have wanted the machining to go, but uh, mm, I don't know. Uh, for $100, it'd be a hell of a deal. <laughs> hey, it actually comes in a better box than normal CRKTs do. So there you go. I mean, that's, that's reasonably decent, and I think it's a limited run. I'm going to see if there's a number on here. If there is, I missed it, I guess. But I think they only made so many of these dogs. And I don't think I got anything here that says anything about it. it says, oh, 550. That's all they made. But it's not numbered that I can see. Okay. One of these days... Let's get some work done, LTK, and get a few knife reviews put together. Because I have been slacking. I've been slacking. Anything else I could talk to you about, Mr. Uh, <laughs> Mr. Linus and everybody else? Hey, I wonder if Kluver's out there. Oh, we got? Who we got? I thought I saw Patty flash by. No? Uh, who we got? Tomlinson, is it A.L. Black, Al Black, EDC Live, uh, yeah, Death Angel, 8869, Spirited Whiskey still with us, Richard, Richard Bryant, Rich, dude, are you trucking, and second question is, where's that wad of knives you were going to send me to put on my next table sale? It's coming up on the 10th, and we got to come up with a mess of stuff on there to make everybody crazy. And in the bunk, huh? Oh, some downtime. Okay, Saturday you'll be home. Okay, good. Because, uh, well, let me know if you want to do anything uh, on this sale. If not, next time around whenever it's convenient for you to get back swing by the house and dig through the pile if there's anything you really want to part with detroit ouch okay never mind i'll stay here in tucson do you have any uk legal knives hold on where'd that go where is that um maybe Maybe. I got some tinies around here. Where'd I just throw that stupid... Here we go. Oh! This might be UK legal. I don't know. This is that mini Doman. I had a guy who was asking. He wanted a small knife for his daughter. He wanted it in pink. And I was looking around. And I looked at like the Rat 2s. But I didn't see any Rat 2s in pink out there. And Ganzo doesn't make any in pink. And he was big on the Ganzo. He's going to get some for his sons. And to hell with that. Um, he wasn't going to get him pink ones, though. He was going to get him some small, I think the 759 uh, M or something, which is kind of a small knife. But uh, ask my advice on flippers and stuff, especially in the $30 price range. And I'm going $30 price range. You kind of jump to you know Civivi and Best Tech and CJRB those are by and large what 40 bucks and up there you go there's a knife for you right there the Vexer used to be called the linchpin until the linchpin uh, asserted itself and said no nah, 
Now, boys, we're the linchpin, spelled differently, L-I-N-C-H to L-Y-N, but whatever. So this became, and still the box says linchpin on this, but it's the Vexor. I, I sent the, I dyed one green, a crazy green color, pretty much like the nurse here. And I sent it to Kurt to get an HRC, and guess what? Uh, I think that was, you know what, and I have to look that up, actually, see if I can. I don't know if I can do this without killing everything, but there was, I've got a file for knives sent to Kurt. Okay, here you go. So, the Civivi Vexor I sent him was a 59.7 on the D2. That's not bad. Uh, that Max Ace Amber that I reviewed not long ago, I don't have these back yet because he still got them, was a 61.1 on that K110. So that's not bad. The Seal XR, but that's coded, was a 59. So he's thinking that's probably more 60 or 61 underneath the coating. So I'm going to have him scrape some stuff off around the pivot and do that again. The SOG Terminus... Um, in D2 was a 61. So they call that their Cryo D2. So that was a 61. Not too shabby on that. And I got to get a hold of Bear Ops again. I've got two of their Ranker 2 knives. And neither one of them tested as S30V. Which freaks me out. And I got to call him and talk to him about that. And find out if somehow... You know, some of the knives accidentally got produced in some other steel. I'm going to send him the test results and everything and, you know, see what the deal is because that just freaks me out. They're supposed to be made in the USA and they supposedly get their steel direct from the manufacturer. So, oh well, I don't know what's going on there. Uh, got another handy knife out here, Tuya Knife Bruiser. I made it blue. It looks black almost, but it was kind of a medium brown. It's really hard to bring that out um, as a lighter color, but you can tell it's it's a navy. I like it. I like this as a good user knife around the house. So that's cool. Anything else you want to add there, Linus? You're from the remote side. Because I've got all kinds of crazy shit around here. And stuff that... Ah, well, I'm not set up for it, so I'll do this. I'm going to click out and let you guys go. Do I have a CRKT M16? No, I don't. Uh, I used to years and years ago. Um... Yeah, yeah, they're not that expensive here. I, I got caught up in that Carson stuff too, and, but that was that was in the 90s, I think, or early 2000s, whenever it came out. So, yeah. You asking me, Mark, if I have a Todd bag? No, nah, I don't anymore. No, I bought the. Uh, Bay Gotti. I saw Jim Skelton do that on his channel when he got not. Not the Bodega, and I saw that one too, but that when he came out with the Begotti, and then I got the Begotti, $2,050. And it was the blue and the gold and blah, 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 all that. Loved it, but I kept it for, man, I, I only kept it for about four months, and I go, that's just insane money to have in a knife, at least for me, and it's especially at the time. So, no. Um, yeah, no, I, I just, I just don't. And then, you know, the steel craft stuff. Yes. And I'll tell you one thing I don't have that I wish I had, and I'm going to get again, go back around and get is the glimpse, the steel craft glimpse made by we knives. That's when they flipped, remember from Riot to we making and making them and the glimpse, a uh, full size glimpse in black G10 slash black carbon fiber. 
that was a beautiful knife and I should have never got rid of that. So it's going to be secondary market for me. So tough. Thanks for the real steel BOGO deal on White Mountain. Oh man. And I got guys, I got a drawer full of them. Shit. Hold on. Damn it. Don't make me do this. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> this will drive you crazy. I got, you, you think? You think? It was such a good deal. Now, actually, actually, most of these are probably not that. How about the Citus in Copper Shred? Now that we're pulling drawers, crazy, these come and go. And that's why I got one as a keeper, because they come and go. I wish they were on bearings. It'd be easier to flick. They get better with time, but that copper shred's sweet. That's sweet. I love that. And then I got the blue luminous and the green luminous. The green luminous really works better as far as really glowing up and then holding that color way better. What else have I got dug into this box on my real steel box? See, there's the luminous shred. So uh screw that let's go on to the next there's the shade the one i just uh put out there you know the karambit one so that's interesting even though karambits are not you know they're just not my bailiwick but it was interesting that they would do that so hey if you want to do it that's fine uh i like the real steel product line so yeah what else we got here? G-slip in black. And the G-slip in micarta. And you know what? I saw on my distributor site, they've got it built out for an orange. So I think they got an orange, but I don't know if it's going to come with a black blade or satin. But if they get orange with satin, I'm going to get one. And then I'll sell my black off. But this micarta one is... And you know what? I'm starting to really take a shine to some of these non-locking knives because that right there, that slice is like crazy good. I like it. And you know, you can take that food grade mineral oil just a bit and rub it on here. Take the pocket clip off or try and take a little piece of cloth and run it under there to moisten that. But it'll darken down even if, if it's a little light for you. And I like mine darkened down, kind of like I got my uh, Spyderco Shaman in my carter that way. What the hell is this? Oh, that's the one in the black. I was just wondering if I had any interesting... There's the Luna, you know. Without the tick. There you go. Another... And, you know, Blade HQ had an exclusive with the... Uh, carbon fiber, right, Linus? I mean, that thing was like 1.7 ounces, 1.5 ounces. I mean, this is light enough, but I mean, oh my God. And so I was trying to beg one off of real steel because I'm such a tight ass. I didn't want to buy it. And nah, they go, nah, they're all, they're all out to Blade HQ. So if you want one, you better go begging. There's the blue shred. <clears throat> Oh, the H6. Yeah, I got that one. So I've got a couple of real, real steel users. And I wouldn't have picked this out normally. But real steel sent it to me as just like a user, user. And I've never really thrown it on my channel. But hey, I do appreciate it. That's a, that's a good little user. They're 14C28N. Uh, I like as a as a user steel. What's this H6? Okay. So they make a lot of different models, and between the the stuff that Real Steel makes and the stuff that Rake makes, uh, I like it. So this one is more my style with the satin blade. But talk about just a super nice, easy using knife. Not not super lightweight, and that's a pretty big knife, but uh, 
I don't mind big knives. Now are we down to the control? There we go. Oh, here's the precision. I think I only got three controls left. Blue. And green. And I think I got two blues and a green. I liked them so much. I just... I just have them because I can't... You can't get any money for them because they're doing them on a BOGO. But what was that? $26? For D2, we tested it. It was like a 60 HRC. Look at that. Steel. Yes, they're heavy. Yes, I don't like the fact that the you got the G10 on one side, this on the other. I told Justin when he was going to do that, if he was going to get this model, that he ought to have him do a G10 liner lock, actually. Flipper. It'd be lighter. And they argued with him about how it'd be crazy to try and do and blah, blah, blah. So to hell with it. So it's like, okay, well, do what you want to do. I'm just telling you my opinion. Uh, yes, I'd like it in a liner lock. Uh, something like that. There's blue. And there's the precision, which is, this is a numbered one. You remember this? Good old faithful here, right? And this is that one uh, from uh, Pro, is it called Pro Edge? What's it called? In Europe that are affiliated with uh, Poltergeist Works. And yes, so they have the rights to this apparently. And this is where you get them now. So this is, I like this one. And yes, I could do it like this, but it's not easy. Um, let me see. Ah, almost. There you go. You can flick it backside, but I'm putting pressure on the log bar to do it from the front. So really cool. Small knife. Well done. I uh, wish they'd have put some of the milling to match here on the back, and they could have, and they didn't. It would have been... A thought that I would have uh, liked. Maybe I should just get the hell out of here. I got some other stuff I got to do and I'm boring everybody to death anyhow. So what do you think? Lena, should I cut out? Sell your Luna, LTK. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I guess I could. Uh, but... Uh, Oh, there's the little uh, there's a little bead that I got that went with that. I think the precision isn't that where this came out of. So yeah, that was nice that they included that. And that's a big ass bunch of knives. And I'm surprised I got that many real steel knives. I got more real steel knives than I got spider coats, or definitely more than I got bench maids. So that's insane. Get this damn drawer out of the way trying to get organized in here I'm gonna set up a different shelving system to try and oh here you go ka-chunk and this is another one in line to hit the review stage the Formax Scout which you know I mean I compared it to uh what to the four max and it's the same it's the same weight same size same everything so it's that's interesting you just got different materials here which is you know a big difference in everything but wow the 10a os 10a that's a real good user be easier to keep the edge up than on a uh 20 CV blade that would take more doing to get it sharpened. Of course, it'll take more doing to get it dull, but yeah, that's cool. And then, yeah, we were saying the AD 10, yeah, AD 10, uh, AD 15 is over here in this corner, and then, of course, my recons. I mean, I think the recon is probably one of the most sensible it's large but it's sensible fairly light for its size 
and just so usable. That and maybe the, you know, Spyderco Para 2. And I'll tell you what, the holdout, this large holdout is really cool. And the Frenzy, I love. Yeah. I had the Frenzy in CTS XHP and a guy got it off me. I can't remember who it was. But uh, it's back in S35. And then the holdout. So... And then this little sucker I've had since, I don't know, the Tough Light, this thing I've had forever. I need to sharpen it too. It's dull as a butter knife. Keep spacing that off. But yeah, talk about small. All the way to large. All the way to crazy large. I don't know. I'll carry something like this. I don't give a shit. All right. Okay. I'm going to let you guys go. I've, I've taken enough of your time up and I didn't have anything structured. I was just playing with this live stream. So all y'alls have a great day. We got great weather down here coming up on happy hour anyhow. And Linus has got to get back to work. Right, buddy? <laughs> yeah. Thumbs up. Okay. Take care, my friends, and we'll have something actually planned, maybe like uh, this Formax Scout compared with the Formax, something like that on the next live feed. I'll have to see, but uh, thanks for helping me out and hanging around uh, just to uh, help me figure out how to get lined up to do live. I appreciate all you guys. You guys are a great bunch. It's great to be part of a knife community with so many really, really fine people out there. And people just having fun and really enjoying their knives. I just I just have a blast all the time. You can tell, you know. I'm always in the in the playpen with gobs of knives around me, but I really enjoy it. Take care, my friends. Thank you so much. You know what we do. What do we do, Linus? Love them knives. We love them knives. So you guys stay sharp.